working with shapes and putting text in them. Another quick one. So let's say I wanted you to, <gasps> he's just so attractive. It's distracting, isn't it? Let's say you wanted to put a shape up and you wanted to put uh, some text in it. So grab the shape you want and make it so it's the size you want it to be. If you're doing this for the assignment, the All About Me assignment, I want it to be just the width of the page and at the top, and I want it to be a shape. Now watch what happened here. When I move this around, I, I put the mouse over it, and then it turned into the left-right arrow things like that. It looks like a TIE fighter from Star Wars. It sounds like that. Yeah. And you click and you drag it over and you can see when it is right against the edge, you can see, see those blue lines that popped up at the top of the bottom? That's telling you, hey, you're right up against the edge. And then you can go over here, click on it to select it, and there it goes again. And when it's right up against the edge, there it goes again. Now, we want to get rid of the outline. I don't want any borders. So borders, transparent. I'll show that again. I clicked on it. Right now you can't see where's the paint bucket. Where's the pencil? Well, it's not selected. Click on it. Go to the pencil. That means the border color. Transparent. There. Now there's no border. And then click up here. And then go to the fill. And I wanted it black with white text. So now it's black. Okay. Now we need to put some text in there. Go in here, click on it. And then you can just start. If you double click on it, you can just start typing. And here we go. This will be all uh oh i can't see it what's going wrong hit backspace get rid of it you need to change the color of the text because it's already black so right now it's doing black on black click on text color and go to white and then say all about david galat of course you'll put your own name in if this is what you're trying to do but this isn't centered i want it centered how do you make it centered mm, we look look at this right here a line if you wanted it on that side, you can put it on that side. If you wanted it on that side, you can put it on that side. If you happen to be doing what I want you to do immediately, which is the uh, All About Me presentation, I want it centered. And then let's make this text as big as it can be. Highlight it. I did that by clicking and dragging it until it's all selected. You can also just do Control A and then keep on hitting this plus here. until it gets too big and then go back so it's not too big click away and you can see there it's centered it's at the top it's aligned over here and you're ready for action